I think if you just rewound even a few years at Cybos, when you would talk about open banking and open APIs, there was still this question of, is it a threat or is it an opportunity? Awareness is the critical function of anything to do with AI and data and privacy. Why don't I bring my data to the bank and trust that they will know what to do with it? As a central bank, we always need to think about, well, how safe are those payments for the end customer? Your security is only as good as your weakest part or the weakest element in the chain. It's now about being in control of your data and being able to control what's happening in your financial health and for your financial services. This change should not make us lose sight of the real work needed to safeguard risk and compliance, ensure absolute integrity and resilience. With faster payments, you're also under pressure to prevent financial loss uh, real time. How do we make sure that from a regulatory standpoint we, we set the rules and a baseline level of trust? This is the race that we are in as banks. Will we provide the financial layer of the digital economy or will we fail to even show up? As people start working with technologies and start realizing some of the dangers involved, we evolve that privacy debate. We evolve each of these debates to get towards a sensible set of rulings. Just because people are stealing money, you know, using, in this case, cyber tools, doesn't mean that they're just going to target the payments colleagues. They're just as capable of targeting us. We've seen the emergence of a much more aggressive strain um, of attackers. Uh, higher end capability, the combination of bespoke malware, advanced social engineering, for example, to directly target bank transfer payment systems and the networks of indeed other industries as well. A few years ago, you had criminal actors on one side and nation state actors on the other. They're working together now. And so it's really even more critical that we make sure that we have proper configurations and that those APIs are as rock solid as we can possibly make them. Going from transactional banking where our websites were just moving money around and showing balances to be much more about relationship and trust. There's a lot of people holding on to their business model and their model of making revenue and they're not willing to give it up. But what I always say is if you don't give it up, it will be given up for you. I think there are two specific issues in terms of change. One is uh, linked to cybersecurity, which is uh, with GDPR, not only a regulatory issue, but also a, a financial risk. For us at SWIFT, it's all about both innovation and risk management. Basically, about responsible innovation.